Um, obviously, just Miami's defense really just played well. What was it about their defense that was maybe frustrating you guys or, or, it was, or that was tough to overcome? Yeah, I, on both sides of the ball, I didn't think we uh, played well up front on either side of the ball. Uh, the defense couldn't get off the field. And uh, offensively, uh, we didn't play well up front. And then uh, when we had, uh, we had some tremendous opportunities in the back end of just wide open guys and didn't make the plays. And uh, uh, the fact of the matter is, is when you're playing a defense the, like this, you have to make your plays when the plays present themselves. And uh, uh, missed a couple, even though we only had the ball. I mean, they had a 12, uh, 12 play, or excuse me, 12 minute drive in the first quarter. And uh, even with only having 15 plays, we missed two that could have scored, maybe three that should have scored. And we just didn't make the plays. And uh, um, I thought that a major, major uh, swing in the game occurred in the second quarter. Um, we would have the ball at the 50 yard line, we intercept the ball, and then uh, there was a uh, roughing the passer. Um, and uh, at worst, you know, you want to come off and be seven, seven points down at half and uh, getting the ball. But uh, just like I said, this game was won and lost up front. Uh, there's enough for everyone. Um, we got to re regroup and go beat Buffalo and go have a great second half. That roughing the pass to call and obviously the pass interference call in the end zone was just kind of tough plays against you guys. Thoughts about those two penalties and because obviously they were really kind of changed the game there in that second quarter. Yeah, they were game changers. There's no question about it. But again, um, I've always said that, you know, you're going to have calls that go your way, don't go your way. Uh, the fact of the matter is, is uh, you know, we didn't we didn't win up front and uh, uh, got to get off the field. And we've done a good job of getting off the field. And then, um, you know, we'd miss some major, major plays. And the difference between um, this week and last week was we, we won up front and we made our plays when they present themselves. It's not that difficult. So um, my hat's off to, uh, to uh, Miami. I thought they, they played really hard. Um, a good football team, too. Just, the, I mean, the first drive for them to convert a few third downs. I think they had a fourth down conversion in there and to, to find the end zone after 11, 12 minutes. Just kind of how tough was that? Just the fact. Yeah, that we were in third and med or third and short, and third and medium the entire drive. Um, we were uh, in man coverage on the majority of those third downs and just didn't play tight enough coverage. And uh, the quarterback made a, a couple good plays. And uh, I mean, that was a long drive. There's no question about it. And then uh, we get the ball back, or we have our first drive. We uh, dinked and dunked uh, our way down the field, ran a double move, and uh, Harold and uh, um, OJ on the back half. Uh, there wasn't anyone between here and uh, Bowling Green, just didn't make a play. And uh, just like I said, when you're playing a really good defense um, you got to make your plays when they present themselves and we just didn't what did that defensive line do specifically that just kind of hurt you guys today we didn't have our hands inside the entire day uh, we were holding left and right uh, they're a good twist team uh, really good twist team and uh, we didn't handle the twist very well um, and uh, you know when you when you don't protect the passer um, be a long day and um, we got to you know we're an explosive team I think we're like 20th in the country in explosion plays and we probably left as many explosion plays on the field uh, that I've been a part of there was a lot of explosion plays what do you think hurt most in this game the penalties or time of possession all the above we couldn't get off the field couldn't stay on the field and uh, um, make a play hold um, and then whenever we did block um, we didn't make our plays. I mean, uh, plain and simple. I mean, it's not complicated. So um, it's hard whenever you uh, when you watch the tape and the kids watch the tape and you go, just do your job and then uh, good things are going to happen. So we just got to clean it up. We're going to. Um, we we've shown our potential. I mean, we have, and then we've shown where where we can be also. So. It's a week in and week out, and uh, 
got to go find a way to beat Buffalo. I mean, what are you going to do? So, got to find a way to beat Buffalo. Right, you've kind of said like you're looking for that consistency. What do you think it'll take for that to click with this group? Uh, just do your job. I mean, and plain and simple. I mean, there was nothing, uh, nothing uh, that they didn't do uh, that we didn't practice. Uh, not at all. Uh, this is the most, uh, uh, if it makes sense, the most uh, uh, simplistic defense with, uh, it, it appears simplistic, it's not. And uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, ways to, uh, to manipulate it, and we did, and we just didn't make plays. I mean, we're going to watch this tape and go, <laughs> you got to be kidding me. So... Fact of the matter is, just like I said, though, you got to win up front. We didn't. And uh, win up front, get off the field, and uh, make your plays when plays present themselves. Any more questions?